I'm going to talk about coupler curves and in particular cognates. Uh, I'm going to start by opening up the force effect motion um, application by Autodesk and here I have a um, four bar linkage that's tracing out a coupler curve um, and this coupler curve is kind of you know kind of egg shaped I guess you'd say um, and what we want to imagine is we've we're doing some type of design and we know that we need this particular coupler curve and here's the linkage that creates it there's only one problem um, perhaps um, ground point 02 or ground point 04 is undesirable uh, for some reason you know maybe um, one of them is going to be out in space in terms of where our the rest of our mechanism is you know maybe the frame of the mechanism is kind of in this area and so this one is off the frame or the reverse you know maybe this one is on the frame however this one is kind of just free just kind of out there um, and so we need a different ground position however we want the linkage to create that we find or the, the, this new linkage we want it to trace out the same coupler curve the identical coupler curve as the one that you see here and so in that case what we want to do is we want to create or use a cognate. Um, in particular, a cognate um, is a linkage of different geometry that generates the same coupler curve. There's a theorem um, that we uh, speak of called the Roberts um, Chebyshev theorem. I'm probably not pronouncing that second name right. And what that theorem says is that three different planar pin jointed four bar linkages will trace identical coupler curves and so here we have a four bar um, planar linkage um, this will have three cognates or three linkages that produce the same coupler curve so if we think of this current one as cognate number one or linkage number one there will be two others um, none of them is better than the other none of them is considered primary it's just that there will be three total linkages that produce the same um, coupler curve and I want to just go through the process of how we find those other two linkages and this new ground position um, the first thing I want to do before we do that is just show a couple of slides that we'll kind of go through it first before I try to do it using um, the force effect motion application and so here we have a representative linkage kind of as an example um, this linkage produces some coupler curve which we haven't seen but we're assuming that we like it we just are not happy with both of the ground positions you know perhaps we don't like this position which is normally would be labeled 02 or perhaps we don't like the one over here 04 and so the way that we go about finding an additional ground position and a new linkage that will produce the same coupler curve is as follows we first break the connections here and we let the crank come up collinear with the coupler as well as the rocker we're going to make it collinear with the coupler also then we're going to start doing a lot of parallelograms and so we're going to start at that first broken that we flipped up we're going to continue up and just continue drawing a line parallel to that original coupler that original um, triangular coupler we're going to just kind of keep drawing until we connect with the line coming from the other side coming from the right hand side and we're going to do the same with this side of the coupler we're going to just draw up here and then we're going to do the same here we're going to draw up there and then we're going to draw across right and so where that original line was we're going to just kind of come across here and that creates our what we call the Cayley diagram and that Cayley has the three cognates kind of in it and so we have our original cognate which is our original linkage we have our new one here cognate number two and over here cognate number three and so all of them are here um, all of these um, triangular couplers are similar triangles which is expressed here and what's important to note is that um, they are not necessarily the same size right they're similar but that this new ground position is going to move when I pull these positions back to where they were before and that point where it goes to is going to be that new ground position that we're looking for um, before we do that this is best done in simulation and I'm going to show you that but um, it's important to note that none of these links will change shape I'm, I'm sorry will change length and so this guy here is equal to the length of this original coupler the this side of it and this side this length here is equal to that length 
um, these are all similar triangles and so we can use the base and these guys to determine those ratios to determine those lengths and whoops sorry um, and um, these lengths will not change and so when we bring these guys down to form this new diagram that shows this new ground position none of the links should be allowed to change their length and so again this is the Cayley diagram and so what we're going to see now is the Roberts diagram and the Roberts we have brought down these the crank and the rocker to their original locations and when we did that everything kind of moved right and this ground position that was up here kind of shifted over as you can see and so this is the Roberts diagram It's now more clearly maybe more easily to see our cognates our separated linkages and we're just going to go ahead and break those apart here and so now we see our original linkage then we see cognate 2 and cognate 3 again we notice that while the cognate 2 does have this new ground position it shares one of the original ground positions that the other that cognate 1 had and cognate 3 also has this new ground position but it shares the original so we've developed one additional ground position each one of these guys is slightly different in shape um, they will each coupler point will trace out an identical coupler curve right on top of each other um, however we do not get any benefit in transmission angle when we do this and so we didn't like the transmission angle as this thing was going through its motion um, it's not going to help us to to create a cognate the transmission angle is not going to improve and one other thing that I want to mention is that it could be that the new one of the new cognates that was produced is not Grashoff so we may start with a Grashoff situation and then end up with a linkage that is not Grashoff, meaning that its coupler curve, while identical in the path that in the parts that it is able to trace, it may not be able to make a complete um, uh, closed circle, if you will, on its coupler path if it is not Grashoff. And so now we're going to turn our attention to the application, where again we see. Um, this coupler path being traced out which we like is kind of egg shaped and we're going to show how to go about producing the other two cognates which will um, produce the identical coupler curve but have a new ground position and so the first thing we want to do here is um, go to this linkage here this is our original linkage and I'm going to go and show you how to draw all these parallelograms and so first we're going to look this is 2.5 length rocker and a one um, foot long uh, 2.5 foot long rocker and a one foot long crank and I'm going to go ahead and delete both of those guys and I'm going to put these here these these ground positions just to make sure that um, just kind of constrain those points make sure they don't move and now I need to go ahead and put in a new length that's two that should be one this should be 2.5 so let's say one there and this one should be oops 2.5 here 2.5 and so there we go and I'm going to make sure that we're dealing with 180 degrees on both of those so good so we're collinear and I'm going to go ahead and ground constrain both of those endpoints I don't want those to move as I'm drawing and now I need to go up and again this is supposed to be parallel to that guy and this one here is supposed to be parallel and then I should connect over whoops to here and connect to here okay so not quite right yet because this length and this length should be the same length and so that's 1.54 so I'm gonna go ahead and make this one 1.54 also okay and um, this should be the same as that and that's one this should be one there we go and this should be the same as that which is 2.5 so let's go ahead and make that 2.5 2.5 so we got that one and this one has come apart so let's go ahead and put that one down there and 2.5 this should also be 2.5 so 2.5 okay and so we're looking good so we're moving right along and we now need to continue our linkage up a little bit here up a little bit uh, here and we're gonna have to connect those two guys so this one's supposed to continue up and connect with this guy so I'm just gonna draw them over here for now 
and this one is supposed to continue up the DE line and connect to that side. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in there. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and continue these up until they meet. And there we go. So we're almost right. And you can see this is supposed to be a straight line. This side is supposed to be a straight line. Not quite so yet, but I can fix that because what I need to first do is look at these cognates that are starting to come together. We almost have a good Kaylee here. We have our original cognate, and then we have a, a third one here, and our second one. Second one's a little bit smaller than the third one. Um, what we can do again is recognize that these triangles are similar. So um, this base is 1, this base is 2.5. So 1 over 2.5 should equal x over this one, and that's 1.54. So 1.54 divided by 2.5 gives us a um, hmm let's, let me see wait a minute 2.5 1.54 and that's a 1 and so we'll have 1.54 divided by 2.5 giving us 0.616 as that length 0.616 so we're just using these ratios because these are similar triangles and <clears throat> we should um, therefore, be pretty close now. Let's see, so that won't change the length. And so let's look at our third cognate, so 2.5 and 2.5, that's 1.54. That means that should also be 1.54, so 1.54. So we have a 1.54 there. And again, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, and this should also be 2.5, so 2.5 there. Okay, so we're getting very close. Um, and now we can turn our attention to this last leg. So we have a 1 and a 2.5. This is 2.5, and so that should also be 1. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that in as 1. And so now we have our Kaylee diagram. And let's see, the only thing is that this guy, let's check our angles 180. One, not quite 180 because this last length is not right. It should be the same as that length. So 1.54. So 1.54. Okay. Now we're good. So one, wait a minute. Something's not right here. Let's see. Let's see if we've missed anything. 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 1.54, 1, 1. And let's see. I think the error may be that we have a 1 and a 2.5 and a 2.5 hmm. see something doesn't look, oh this one we never did set it it should be the same as that length and so there's a 1 there okay so now we're dealing with 180 so we've got a straight line here 180 there we've got a straight line there and so this is the completion of our Cayley diagram and so um, we see all the parallelograms. We see um, cognate 1, cognate 2, cognate 3. This new ground position, L, is going to move when we create the Roberts, which means moving this point back down to here and this point back down to here. And so we're going to do that on an additional diagram, which I've created a little bit previous. And so here's the diagram that we're going to use for that. And so let's see what we have here. Okay, and so now um, I've taken off the ground positions on those two ends, and I'm ready to kind of move these things back, move the rocker back to 04 here, and move the crank back down to my 02 position. And so I'm going to kind of do that here, kind of grab this guy, whoops, and grab a guy and move it down until we get our point almost connecting. I'm going to just leave it there. And so we almost have... Um, our point back down and we've noticed this point L has moved quite a bit right and so that's our point that was our new ground position okay let me go back there and see that um, I think I'm gonna work with this one. Oh, it is still point L okay I just wanted to make sure that we were dealing with the same coupler point point. Um, and these some of these I did earlier just to speed me along so we move this down let me just move it back just to so we can move make that motion again I mean, we can't. So this was, let's see, okay, so yeah, it was back up in this range. OK, 
kind of somewhere around in here. And so what we did is we moved it down. Oops. Not quite until it meets. And I'm going to move this one, the crank side, down also until it almost meets our O2 position. So it's almost met. And you see that point L right here, that ground position is moving gradually as we get this guy closer. And so I'm not going to quite get him all the way down because if I, if I connect C and G and F and A, then the whole thing will become a structure. It'll be hard to see. But what we can see here is the small coupler, our bigger coupler, and our new ground point here and our coupler point right there. And so in the next pictures, we're gonna see kind of what we have in terms of our motions. And so this was our original um, that we did and just kind of show what that one looks like again as we rotate and we see our coupler point tracing out this kind of egg-shaped coupler path. And let's see what we have next. And so there we have our cognate number three, which was the bigger one. And we're going to see also it doing the same exact thing. So in this one, our coupler point is labeled B. And you see that it traces out the same exact coupler path. And then finally, the little guy, which was coupler, um, I'm sorry, cognate number two. So we see it here. And what we notice about it is it is not grash off. Now notice also it's ground position, so it shares our O2 and this new ground position, but it's not grass off, so it doesn't make it completely around. And even if we delete that path and that motor from that location and put the motor on the other link, we still will not be able to completely trace out the path. So we're still missing um, some of the path there because that is not a grass off linkage. And so what we see if we've been able to create um, three linkages that each that trace out the identical coupler curve. Um, and that's all that I have to say about cognates.